Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. And firstly, congratulations to the brilliant news channel, uh, GB News. They are going to play God Save the Queen every day so we can wait. Well, I don't know what time they're going to play it. I'll have to set me alarm so I get up, stand to attention for Her Majesty. I think it's because uh, Andrew Rosendale, uh, a Conservative MP who I, kn I know quite well, he used to have this big bulldog called Spike, didn't he? Mm. And, uh, yeah, he wrote to the BBC, can you play God Save the Queen? No. And Gary Lineacre, who actually models the, the old FA Cup with, and complete with handles, said, no, we'll be like North Korea. Well, we're not going to start singing God Save the Squirrel. No. You go, I save the squirrel, will. No. God Save the Queen. It's all part of us. If you don't like it, Gary, go and move to North Korea. I'm sure they'll like you there. And then you won't be closed down by the uh, North Korean BBC when Nadine Doris goes over there and cuts their money as well. The BBC, we'll talk about that later on Ustream. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the end of that awful... Le I had a nightmare there. I'll tell you all later. I'm not telling you on air here. I'll be assassinated. Mm. So there you go. So God save the Queen. And really, God should save the Queen at the moment. She's going through some shit at the moment. She's lost her husband, hasn't she, eh? And now every time there's a piss up at Downing Street, the news reminder of that, saying, how dare they have a party the night before the Duke of Edinburgh is buried? How dare they drink alcohol? How dare they do anything? I'll we'll talk about that in a second. But firstly, let's just talk about Prince Andrew and Prince Harry. They're both in... is all going... Funny. Do you think they phone each other up and go, oh, shit, you never guess what's happened. Oh, you wanted to. You wanted to. Oh, now they've told us that I've done this and done that. Oh, I can't get any coppers looking after me. I fought in Afghanistan for these people. That's all they get. What's Megan said? Well, she's pissed off. What's the... Oh, can you imagine it all? Do you know what you should do? Uh, now, I like Prince Andrew. I do. When I've met him, he's been fine. I've also met him when he's been a bit, you know, a bit surly. But he was working, doing his job. Prince Harry... Well, he's a feisty little bugger and, uh, by all accounts, a great bloke. What do I know? Anyway, I've got some advice for you. Do you remember a band called King Crimson and a band called Atomic Rooster and a band called The Nice? Well, these were really, really famous bands back in the 70s. And one person from each of them left and formed a super group. So... It was called Emerson, Lake and Palmer, my favourite group, as you know. Well, here's what to do. Andrew, Harry, form your own royal family. That's the next thing. You could be sort of Twitter royals, can't you? Young people royal family. Don't like the old lot? Come with us. That'll do it. We don't need police protection. No, no, no. We're going to buy Rottweilers. We're going to borrow Andrew Rosendale Spike. That'll sort them all out. Uh, be funny, wouldn't it? And then they can take over the government when we can all have as many parties as we want. So what is going on now? The, I mean, we've got the British troops flying out to back up the Ukrainian army that is uh, about to be pounced upon, so they say, by the Russians. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's all going on there. And what makes the headlines? What did I hear on Channel Thingy this morning, Radio 4 on the way in, before I turned it off? So, Dominic Rabb, we're talking about this and that and justice and the magistrates can now give another, they can give 12-month sentences and everything, and it's a big deal. Yes, but do you think the parties actually went on? Did you think the... Why are we going on about these parties, for heaven's sake? Can I ask a question? What if they were just drinking tea? What if it was a tea party? Would anyone moan? No, not really. Now there's a picture of Keir Starber, right, talking to the rest of his cabinet friends, Barney, Betty, Bab Bab, and, uh, and, and apparently he was seen drinking a beer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And he said, oh, someone brought some food in. I didn't order it. I wasn't aware of it. It's like the Prime Minister. He wasn't aware, so he says, that there was a party going on in the back garden. He just popped in. But now Dominic Cousins, the one that started all this shit off, is prepared to swear on oath. Swear on oath that... that Prime Minister, listen, Dominic, old chap, you're swearing on oath. It means nothing. Did you swear on oath when you made that illegal trip up north and you said you drove to test if your eyes were all right? Ah, how credible are you? You've already proved that your evidence about stuff 
is slightly flawed or slightly unbelievable. We all know that you're a bit scorned, aren't you? You must look in the mirror every day and that face looks back and shame on you for what you're trying to do. What have we got to do? All bow down, oh, you are. I tell you what, Dominic, why don't you run the new royal family? See if you can get Harry and uh, Andrew's number. You can run it all. And then when it's really successful, you can kick them in the balls, you two-faced bugger. Anyway, remember this word, Dominic, Mr. Swear on Oath, test your eyesight. Corroboration. Where is the, where, who will corroborate? Try saying that in North Korea. Corroboration! Who will back up your story that the Prime Minister knew? Nobody, because no one's got... Oh, there's someone else having a bit of a go. They said the drink culture is so bad in Downing Street that people would drink all afternoon and wake up fully clothed on the sofa at night. Well, who would say a thing like that? Probably someone that doesn't drink. And that's Sonia Khan. Yeah, the, uh, the clue's in the name there, Sonia. Mm. So there you go, another one with a, a bit of a chip. But anyway, talking of chips... It's Operation Red Meat for me now. I'm going to McDonald's every day because I'm going back on tour. Now, get these down in your dates. Like the next one is the Tivoli Theatre in Wimborne on the 28th, where me and Miles Crawford, here he is, ding, we're recording a show each uh, for Ustream. I'm going to tell all the true stories that happens, including the BBC saga. On the 30th, I'm in South End, Cliff's Pavilion. The Cliff's Pavilion in West Cliff. That's a real cracker. And then a little gig on the 12th of Feb in the Isle of Wight called the Medina. Look all these up and try and come along. The brilliant Orchard Theatre theatre, theatre in, in, in Dartford, where my brother Bill lives in it. And then the Wickham Swan on the 18th. Dartford is the 17th, by the way. The Theatre Royal St Helens. I don't know what I'm doing there. I don't know if I'll sell any tickets that far behind... Uh, Enemy lines up there at Great North. But anyway, I'm at the Theatre Royal St Helens on the 22nd. If you fancy a novelty night out, come along. And the last one in February is at the Lighthouse Theatre in Kettering, which is a great theatre, and that's on the 24th. So try and come along, sign up for Ustream, and you'll see what I've got to say later on at 6 o'clock tonight. Well, you know, that bloody Tories for you, isn't it? Bloody Tories. Well... I'm not going to take any notice of any of the rules, he says now, and I won't wear a mask, and I'm going to go out in the middle of a football ground and have people cough all over me, and I'll catch Covid and die. That'll fucking learn him, won't it? First, they're brilliant because if you get very, you can tell I'm quite hyperactive and I get very excited and then I also on the other side get very anxious because it's very close line to the adrenaline. Is anything to do with having Bobby Davro as a boyfriend? <laughs> I mean, Never let's, come on, that. let's take a vote here. I Anyone think yes. that that might be it? Never mind your whiskey, cried Mummy Bear. Who's been eating all my big beans? Then Baby Bear cried, Never mind your whiskey and your big beans. Who's been playing all my vintage Elvis Presley records? Just then, Goldilocks fell out of the wardrobe and said, Bleh! I'm all shook up. Obi Wan Crononi is spreading quite quickly. African News has done a survey and found that one in ten households reported divided. The other nine houses <laughs> didn't even open the door. <laughs> you agree with that? I won't say anything about her. I, don't think she, I think she's as funny as a burning orphanage. I said, um, if you ever want to book a DJ, right? So I've got old Fatso's card out of the pocket. Mm -hmm. I said his name's Silver Flash. And that's what I think of him when I put it in a shit. <laughs> Lorraine Kelly. <laughs> Lorraine, Lorraine, Lorraine I'm sorry. Kelly. She just irritates me. And she's so nice. And she's so nice. Really, really nice. <laughs> that's really, really everything. And she's a Star Trek fan. You know, I lost both my legs in a car accident. Oh, that's really, really good. Really good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs>